weekly by Big Chicken. So if that is something that you'll be interested in, please stay tuned. Okay, you all, let's hop right to it. Um, I did my monthly budget for March, so we're doing our, I guess this would be considered our last week in February. So this was last week. Um, I'm also going to do an overview of last week. I ended up making um, $1,059. As you can see, I needed, let me zoom in. I needed $1,059. $111 to cover my bills. So let's talk about it. Um, GoDaddy didn't come out, not to my knowledge. Um, I paid PayPal. Um, it was due on the 25th, but that was like Friday. So it still hasn't come out. So that'll come to this week. Okay. And that's what's kind of, that's what happened here. I had some bills from the following week they came out, but I did get the card note paid. I did pay off um, the credit union. I no longer have that loan. The T-Mobile, I'll be paying them this Friday, prayerfully. Um, I did pay the booth rent, but I was still short. So, why I didn't get to pay this 285 it would seem that I would be able to pay it, at least be close and off, but I, I just wasn't. Because, again, some of the things from the following week came out this week. Even though I had money allotted and that I count for those things, um, this still didn't get paid. That was just a whole lot. Uh, but I didn't do a lot of spending. I should have brought down my spending tracker, but I didn't do a lot of spending. I still didn't pay um, my P.O. box, which I'll figure that out later. But here's what happened. I made a note. Thank God I made a note. My taxes, they were three twenty-five. dollars What I did was I used 200 from my PayPal credit to pay towards, but I had to use this 125 out of this to pay, um, I paid out of pocket 125. So that's why I wasn't able to pay that. So you add that to that, that's why I didn't have it. So that's how last week ended. Oh, and I ended up making, oh, I'm sorry, I made 958 in hair. I ended up making $30 in nails. And then Shopify had, I had $71, um, but I think it was a little under that. I just happened to check uh, Sunday night, I believe, and it was $71. So Shopify was up 30, nails was up 30, and of course, um, hair was up by whole, what's that, $200. So, yeah, that's how my last week went, and I'm going to do my best to stay consistent with my, um, paycheck to paycheck, so that way we can do an overview and you guys can see, um, what is all going on. So let's do a little highlighting this week. This week is the 28th, February 28th through March 6th, March 6th. So again, our sources are hair, nails, Shopify, and I'm adding miscellaneous now um, because there were a few weeks, I think I wasn't recording, but I had sold some things. Also, I'm looking forward to my taxes. I don't think I'm going to get them this week, but just in case. So right now, we'll leave miscellaneous blank. Let's hop up here to hair. Hair, I'm just sticking with my 750. Last week was a total surprise. People came in and got things that I wasn't expecting them to get, so they ended up spending kind of like double. So that's how I ended up making more in hair. Nails, I think I got one client this week, and I'm putting 35. I just have to move her day. Shopify, um, we're starting Monday, so I'm going to be paying. Well, Shopify, I would say I'll make um, 25 because that money won't hit my account till later this week. So we have, let's see here. Um, seven eighty five ninety. I think we have eight ten. Let me get my calculator. <clears throat> I was correct. We have eight hundred and ten dollars that we are. Um, projecting for this week. 
so over here I have my calendar looking at me and first up is CMP. I'm back with my subscription. Um, I'm not for sure if I'm going to pay $38.99 or $39.99. I'm just going to put $39.99 and I'll correct it, you know, when I do my little check-in. Um, we have Amazon. And all of these are dual the first, and that's Ulta. Amazon, I thought they went up this week. They're not going up until the first. That is $13.77. Ulta, I, uh -huh, I don't know, but I'm going to put $35. Also, what I did today was I paid, I tried to retract the payment, but it was too late. Um, I made a Capital One payment. of $25, so that'll probably come out on Wednesday. Um, we have Credit One. I'm putting the third, but I'm not for sure if it's the second, third. Oh, I see something I didn't put down. Community, that's due on the second. Community, Credit One, I think they'll get 35. I think Community gets 35. On the fourth, oh, let me do Shopify. So Shopify, Shopify, I was putting like 40, but I think I need to put 45. And that's on the third. And then on the fourth, we have Walmart. I think Walmart gets like $28. I'm gonna put 30 because I think it's close to its max. And something that I forgot in my monthly budget is my booth rent. This is the week that my booth rent goes up to $250. And that is on the 5th. And I'm really excited about starting my booth rent envelope because it may go to, towards the suite. That way I can do both my nails and my hair. And right now, I've gone up on my nail customers, but I don't have but a handful. The reason I'm not taking more to make more money is because I'm doing it out of my house. And I'm just a little leery about that. I've actually cut people back because of COVID and catching COVID and not trusting people. So I don't know why I would trust them more in a suite, but I just wouldn't want to have it in my home, if that makes sense. Um, so two, booth rent goes up to 250 So let's... Add everything up. Five forty three seventy six, and I added another thirty five dollars because of the PayPal payment from last week that hasn't came out and will come out so i'm assuming that will come out on the first so that um leaves us with 543.76 again let me double check this to make sure but it seems about right but let me just double check so again it is 543.76 so that's what we're working with let's subtract it from the 810 And that leaves me 266.24. So I'm not in the negative negative this week, <laughs> praise the Lord. But um, I do want to start the 100 envelope challenge. But kind of, here's my plan. Um, in my monthly budget, I talked about getting my taxes and what all I would do with it. And I think what I'm going to do also is start my 100 um, envelope challenge and start with the larger numbers first and um, like the hundred dollars definitely put that in there maybe if something's left put it like a eighty dollars or the ninety nine dollars or something like that in there and then I may contribute something to it if if I can because I definitely want to get into more of my savings um, challenges but this is what I have left over two hundred and sixty six dollars all my bills turned up to be five hundred and forty three dollars and seventy six cents and then here we're projecting to make $810. I'm not going to, you know, fill this out over here 
because again, it could come in less than this. Um, again, I'm just projecting my regular 750. Um, it's looking a little skim. <laughs> so, but 750 is about my average. So I'm just going to stay there. So if I only make 600, I should have enough. So um, I'm going to pop this back in. So again, there you have it. Um, I'm feeling a little more positive. I think like once I get my taxes, I promise the Lord. I said I would do right with my money this time. I would do right with a lump sum of money and definitely putting some up for savings. Definitely catching up some bills. Um, while I'm talking about it, one of the things that I definitely want to do is pay off some credit cards and pay down some credit cards and then go to the point where I don't have to use them and definitely catch some things up. I have a week ahead envelope. I want to contribute to that and I definitely want to start a three to six months envelope as well. But I'm like, if I can't stick to, stick to the week ahead, uh, how am I going to focus on the three to six? So anywho, thank you all again so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell on the side for the notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.